know, might have transmitted a heart bone disease. So uh, just make sure he doesn't suffer from that. Good boy. You're a good boy. And Dr. Richard is right to be concerned. He tested positive for heart bone disease. This kind of changes the whole scenario because um, he is very anemic, his body weight is very low, so that makes him a, not a very good candidate for heart bone treatment because there's more harm being done with the treatment rather than without the treatment. With the treatment, the, um, the bones will start dying, and when they die, they form an emboli, like they clog the major blood vessels and the animal will go into your shock. A chest x-ray will indicate the extent of Skeeter's heartworm infection. Chest picture, very typical of a heartworm disease patient. The usual heart should be nice and uh, you know, uh, symmetrical, but if you can see the right side of his heart is enlarged because the blood flow is being compromised by the worms are pulling the pulmonary artery. So that is causing, causing the right side of the heart to work extra hard. When it does that, it becomes enlarged. Skeeter's future now rests on further blood tests. If I am not going to see what I would like to see in the blood picture, it has reached a stage where he cannot be recuperated. I will not recommend uh, heart bone disease treatment. So he, at the moment, is just fingers crossed until I see the blood work. And only time will tell if Skeeter has a fighting chance of survival. And manager Elise Gooch is giving a little one-on-one -on -one time to one of the Shire dogs seized from the backyard breeder. This is one of the dogs that came with the seizure of 54 dogs. It was a breeder gone wild kind of situation. Um, but we actually ran across a really common theme amongst the dogs, which is for their cage presentation, they were amazingly social, very wiggly, very cute. You know, the type of dogs that you think, how could this ever have come out of, you know, a seizure situation? And then the second that you would open the door, they would all run to the back and they would flatten down and they would just have this total fear response. And it was just so heartbreaking. Fostering will give Elise time to encourage the little dog to become more social and happy to be touched. Essential for any successful adoption in the future. So this is a little bit of it. Can you see how tense her body is? I mean, I'm pushing on her body with relative pressure, but she's not yielding at all. She's not moving, and her tail is tucked. Her ears are back. She's very, very nervous about me picking her up like this. Let's try again. Hey! <laughs> Clearly we've identified the bed as the safe space. Hi. Hi. Can we pick you up? And when people were going to pick her up, can you see how she's almost frozen and she's like dead weight? So to pick her up, She's not working with me at all. She's very uncomfortable with that. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of clicking and treating for her for not going down. I have a thing of treats right here, and I have a clicker right here. And so right now, I'm just charging the clicker. So if I click her, and good girl, you see how she looks up at me? Yeah, that's feta cheese. Basically, we're creating a language right now so that she learns what's okay and what's not okay. And I'm gonna teach her, you know, whenever you do this, you're gonna get rewarded. And when I click, it means you've done the right thing. And so she's gonna get rewarded 